assigning different hatch patterns to components in assembly section views. So here I have an assembly section views, and I want to change this hatch pattern. So when I when it's assigned, it puts in a general hatch pattern. Now this hatch pattern is representative of cast iron. This part is probably not made of cast iron, so I'm just going to go and highlight the pattern. And then I could right click and say edit. And now that will bring me up the edit hatch pattern a dialog box. It's using the ANSI 31, which is the general or it would be cast iron, either or. I'll go to ANSI 32. And this is a steel pattern. Was two lines every other repeating, but notice it's very um, tight. And 45 degrees is the proper angle, but it's very tight, and that's because my scale is three to one. But over here, my scale is one, so I'm going to bump that up to three. Ah, that looks much better. And so I can scale it up and down uh, so that the pattern looks appropriate. The shift is used to offset the hatch pattern from its location from a certain distance. This will avoid some confusion with other hatch patterns that are adjacent to it. The line weight over here is by layer, but I can give it a particular line weight if I like. So a lot of times we might want to go with a very thin line weight uh, so that if the pattern is very busy, we tend to like to, to go smaller on the line weight, if anything. We have a double uh, checkbox here. That's when we want to double the hatching lines. Uh, so it's, uh, it's not always used, but it doubles it. There's the pattern with it doubled. I also have a color. I can pick on my color button and pick any color I want. And uh, so, uh, you know, we generally don't use colors where we have construction drawings are black and white typically, but there are chances where you probably might want a color hatch pattern. So when you're done making your change, I can say OK, and I've updated my, uh, my hatch pattern in a component in an assembly section.